we're going to have a look at how heat can affect air volume in this experiment. I've placed a candle inside a dish of water. I've put some green food coloring in the water, but that's not really relevant to the experiment. It'll just help you see the results after the fact. I'm now going to place a beaker above this candle. Now, this beaker is capturing that heat energy that's rising. The, uh, it's warming up all the particles that are inside there. So that heat is now increasing in temperature. And remember, temperature is simply the kinetic, average kinetic energy of uh, particles. So all the gases inside this are now picking up speed. They're, as they get faster, they hit each other harder. As they hit each other harder, they bounce off each other and spread further apart. So the volume of the air inside here is increasing. So much so that it's actually overflowing with air. Now we can't see it, but hot air would be streaming out the sides. Because this, as particles get further and further apart, they take up more space. So the air inside here is actually taking up a whole lot more uh, space in the air around it. The volume has increased because the temperature has increased. This is sort of the same principle as a hot air balloon. Uh, the hot air is less dense, it's further apart, and will cause a balloon to rise. Unfortunately, there's not enough uh, heat energy here or hot air to cause this to, to rise. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to, in a moment, place this beaker down over this candle into the water. So the hot air inside, the particles that are moving very quickly and that are less dense and that are very far apart, will be trapped inside. And let's observe what happens. So now, I place the beaker over the candle went out and the water inside the beaker rose. As you can see, it's much higher than outside of it. And that's why it's green, so you can see a little bit better. So the question is why? Most people automatically think that the candle has used up all the oxygen in there, so therefore that's the volume of the oxygen that got sucked in. And that's not quite right. <clears throat> we don't have that much oxygen in our atmosphere, thankfully, or if we did, everything would be on fire all the time. Uh, but it did run out of oxygen, the candle goes out. When the candle went out, the air inside there lost its heat source. So the particles stopped hitting each other as hard, they lost energy, stopped moving as fast, and came closer together. So the volume of air decreased. How much did it decrease by? Exactly this much. And as this beaker continues to cool, it will uh, decrease further. So that when the volume of air is hot, or anything is hot, it's going to take up more space because the particles are moving faster and hitting each other harder. When it cools down, it takes up less space because the particles aren't hitting each other as hard and the distance between those particles aren't as much. So we saw the volume of air decrease, which created a vacuum, and sucked in the water because that empty space had to be replaced by something. So that is how heat can affect air volume.